We are ready to start our next row. And again, this row is going to be the row where we do a treble and a chain. So we're going to chain three for our treble and we're going to chain one more for the chain and turn your work. From there, you're going to work, you're going to skip this treble and we're going to work a treble stitch into this stitch here. And now we're going to work one chain and then we're going to work one treble into our next stitch. And we're going to work one chain and we're going to work a treble into our next stitch. And you're going to continue one chain, one treble all across this set of 10 treble crochet stitches. So I'll pause the video again. You should now have your 10 treble crochet stitches with one chain in between each. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And you can see the chain space in between each one. So from there, we're not going to work anything into our four chain space here. We're going to continue in the pattern working one treble and one chain across the next set of stitches, which is our, the next set of 10 treble crochet stitches or the arch. So I've worked one treble, one chain, one treble, one chain, one treble, one chain. I'm going to pause and you can continue on right across till we get to this center point again. Okay, so continue across this set or this arch and then I'll join back up with you soon. Again, I have completed that arch. One treble, one chain, one treble, one chain, all the way across. And now we are coming to, oops. Now we are coming to our center point, center part of the, of the shawl. So again, we're going to work one treble, one chain across the 20 treble crochet stitches that we have here. So one. And just keep checking that you have worked your 10 treble crochet stitches. When you finish one section, just, just do a count, a quick count. So it's one treble, one chain, into each treble crochet stitch all the way across this set, these two arches, which there are 20 treble crochet stitches. Okay, I'll pause again. So now I have worked my 20 treble crochet stitches with the one chain in between. So basically I'm going to do what we have done here which is just working over each arch with a treble and a chain. So continue over your next arch with one treble, one chain, and then again on the last arch with one treble, one chain. And remember, you're not working into your four chain space here at all. So. One treble, one chain. Treble. One chain. And continue all the way over this arch and all the way over this arch. I'll catch up with you at the end. So now your work should look 
something like this. Remember when you get to the end here, you're working your last treble into the third chain from the previous row that you have made, okay? So now your work should be looking like so, okay? So now you can see where you're repeating the pattern, okay? So that's the four rows of the pattern completed. I am going to do another set of four rows, okay? Um, I've noticed a lot of videos stop at this point and I think people are left a little bit in limbo. So I'm going to work another four rows and maybe after the four rows you'll see, you'll get the feel, complete feel for the pattern and um, you'll understand where you're going, how it's increasing. So this time we're going to have seven chain going across here and seven chain going across here and over here. So we're going to have more arches on each side and that's how it is growing okay so to start off again we're starting off with your chains the chain row i class that as the first row so we make 10 chain and then we're going to turn our work so one two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we're going to turn our work. We're skipping the first chain space and into the second chain space we're pinning our large chain down with a double crochet stitch. We're going to make now three chains of four chain if that makes sense. Okay, so three chains. This is our first chain of one, two, three, four. We're going to skip this space and into the next space with a double crochet stitch. And again, we're going to work another four chain. One, two, three, four, going to skip this space and into the next space with a double crochet stitch. We're going to work four chain. One, two, three, four. We're going to skip this space and into the next space with a double crochet stitch. Now, so we're going to jump from this arch over to this arch. We're going to skip one, two and three spaces. And to get from here to here, we need to do a chain of seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So skip one, two and three and into the fourth space we're going to work a double crochet stitch so over this arch we're going to make three sets of four chain so one two three four we're going to skip this space and into this space with a double crochet stitch And again, repeat that again. One, two, three, four. Skipping this space and into this space. And again, one, two, three, four. Skipping this space and into this space. So now we're going to again jump from this arch over to this arch with a chain of seven. One, two, three, 
three, four, five, six, seven. And we're skipping one, two, and three. And into our fourth space with a double crochet stitch. So just take a break there and have a look and see. You have your large chain space here. You have three, four chain spaces over the arch. Another chain space of seven. You have three, four chain spaces over the arch. Another chain of seven. So now we have to do three more four chain spaces. So I'm going to pause the video and meet me when we finish this little section. So now I have done my three four chains and I'm into the center. These always remind me of L's, don't know why. Anyway, I'm going to work a chain of seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm skipping this space and into the next space, which is the middle of your shawl with a double crochet stitch. And basically now what you're going to do on the other side is exactly what we have just done. Okay, so we're going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to skip this space and into the next space with a double crochet stitch. And then across here, we're going to work are three four chain spaces. So I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to let you continue on working your chain spaces right to the end making sure when you're jumping from here to here you're missing this space this space and this space and working your double crochet stitch in here and you're making a chain of seven right to the end of your row and when you get to the end of your row you're going to work a chain of seven plus one treble crochet stitch into your third chain here this one here okay i'm going to pause and come back to you when i have done that myself so now i have completed this side as well okay so there we have our three, four chain spaces, our seven chain, our three, four chain space, our seven chain, our three, four chain space, and our seven chain and a treble stitch. So our second row again is three chain, Turn your work. And now you're going to place your treble stitches into the uh, chains, into the large chains. Okay. So again, it's the first three chain is your first treble. And you're going to work 10 trebles in total. So nine more actual treble stitches into your first large chain space. I'm going to pause and complete this section first. So that's my 10 treble crochet stitches. Make sure count over them because if you miss one or two, it can throw out the pattern and um, you don't want to have to be ripping it back. 
So from there you're going to do a double crochet stitch into the 4 chain space. You're going to make 4 chain. 1, 2, 3, 4. You're going to work a double crochet stitch into the next chain space. You're going to work 4 chain. And you're going to work a double crochet stitch into the next chain space. And that will bring us to our next large chain space. And into that we're going to work 10 treble crochet stitches. I think now at this stage you're probably getting the, getting the idea of the pattern. It is only a four row repeat. And there's not, there's no difficult stitches in it. There are trebles, chains, trebles or double crochet stitches. I don't know what the temperature is like with you guys, but at the minute it's uh, fairly cold here in Ireland. I have a little heater beside me and my my mug of tea, but um, it's not really doing the job. And I have lost count. Serves me right, so I'll have to stop and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Grand. <clears throat> and one is ten. From there into our four chain space, we work a double crochet stitch, and then we have four chain. From there again, another double crochet stitch. And four chain. And from there again into the four chain space below with a double crochet stitch. And now we're into the large chain. And again it's ten treble crochet stitches into here. So I'll pause and work that for you. So that's the ten treble crochet stitches in the seven chain space and again it's a double crochet stitch into the four chain space and four chain one two three four another double crochet stitch into the four chain space and again four chain one two three four and our last one in this section, double crochet stitch into the four chain space. So now we're into the two middle seven chain spaces of the shawl. And into that we're going to work 10 treble crochet stitches into one and 10 treble crochet stitches into the second one. So work away on that and I'll come back to you in a few minutes. So that's the 10 on this side done and 10 on that side done. And then we're going to work a double crochet stitch into our four chain space. We're going to work four chain. We're going to work a double crochet stitch into the next four chain space. And again, four chain and a double crochet stitch into the next four chain space. And again, 10 trebles into our seven chain space. Okay, so that's that 10 done. And again, 
double crochet stitch into the four chain space and chain four one two three four and again a double crochet stitch into the next chain space one two three four and a double crochet stitch And again, we're over to, oops, we're over to our seven chain space. So 10 trebles into here, a double crochet stitch into here. You work four chain and a double crochet stitch into here, four chain, double crochet stitch into here, and your 10 treble crochet stitches into your last chain. So I'm gonna pause and let you finish off this round. And again, that's that row completed. So that's our second row of the repeat. So then we are starting our third row. And again, it's chain three. And you're going to turn your work. And then this row, round, row, row. Sorry, I was teaching a class earlier on and I was working in the round. So now I'm back to working in the row. So this row is working a treble crochet stitch into each treble. We chained our three, which is our first treble. That's the second treble worked. So you're going to work across the 10 treble stitches below. working a treble into each of them. So I'll pause and come back to you when I finish this section. And that's the 10 treble crochet stitches worked into each of those. And from there you're going to work a double crochet stitch into your four chain space. And you're going to work four treble or four chains, three, four, and a double crochet stitch into the next chain space, which will bring us over to the next arch. And again, it's a treble crochet stitch into each treble across. So that's those ten trebles worked. Into the next chain space, you work your double crochet stitch, then four chain, two, three, four, and a double crochet stitch into the next chain space. And it'll bring you to your next arch. And it's a treble crochet stitch into each treble across. And that's that arch completed. Please, 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 I can't elaborate enough on it but please keep counting and make sure you have your the correct count for your stitches okay into your four chain space you work a double crochet stitch chain four three four and into your next chain space again it's a double crochet stitch Now we're over into the center of the shawl and you work a treble crochet stitch into each stitch along the way. So you'll have 20 treble crochet stitches when you work this section. So I'm going to pause the video and let you work away on that. And that's the 20 treble crochet stitches completed across the two arches here, which is in the center. And again, a double crochet stitch into the four chain space beside it and four chain. I go to the next chain space and work a double crochet stitch into there. Again we're on this arch here and it's ten treble crochet stitches. And I'll just pause the video again. So I worked my 10 
treble crochet stitches. I worked my double crochet stitch into the four chain. Below I worked four chain and I worked a double crochet stitch into the four chain space. And again, again I'm over at the next arch. So if you want to work away on it, your 10 trebles, your double crochet stitch, your four chain and your double crochet stitch until you get to the last arch. Okay. So I've worked my 10 treble crochet stitches. I have worked my double crochet stitch into the four chain. I've worked my four chain, double crochet stitch into the four chain and now I'm working on my treble stitches. So I've worked one, two, three. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And your last travel is worked into the third chain of the previous row. So now we should have something like this. And the fourth row, start off again. This is the row where we work the treble and the chain. So we work a, a chain of four at the beginning of the row. Which the three treble is the three, start again. The three chain represents your treble stitch and the fourth chain is the chain space or the chain in between each treble. So we're skipping the first one and again into the next one with a treble crochet stitch. So it's a treble and it's a chain. It's a treble and it's a chain. So you're going to do a treble and a chain all the way across this arch. Okay, now I have completed my 10 trebles with my 10 chains. Okay, and then I am just going to repeat that across every arch all the way along. We don't work into the four chain here in the middle. We're just going to go straight over to the next treble stitch and work one treble, one chain into the next treble, with a treble and one chain. So continue all the way over. I'll come back to you when you come to the middle. But continue on the next two arches. Okay, so I have worked across the two arches and I've worked across the first arch of the middle section. Okay, doing a treble and a chain. So I'm going to continue on working across the rest of the middle arch and working across this arch, this arch down to the last arch here. It's a treble and a chain all the way across.
So I'll pause and come back to you when I get to the end of the row. So now I'm right down to the end and I'm working my last travel crochet stitch into the third chain, which is this guy here. I'm just going to go from the back around. And you can see where the two L eyes are in the middle. Okay, that's the center of your your shawl, and your arches are growing. You will have more arches now on this this row. You'll have one here. You'll have one here. You'll have one here. You'll have one here, and then your two up here. So. Each time it's growing and growing and growing. Okay. So again, a very effective pattern. Again, can be worked in any kind of yarn, be it chunky, be it double knitting, be it lace weight, um, be it in iron. Um, it's lovely worked in a, a cotton, a double knit cotton it's really really nice um, and just use the the correct size hook for whatever yarn you're using you can make this as big or as small as you want um, you can make it just so that it sits around your neck you can make it for going around your your shoulders um, I will continue with this until all of the yarn has been used up so there's a thousand meters in these cakes the name of the company is wolfamus the name of this color is that i am not going to pronounce it my um forte is not languages so i'm not going to have you all laughing at me trying to pronounce this but I presume it means summer something or another. <laughs> so I will have this done for the summertime and it will be a lovely shawl for the summertime. Just uh, pause the video, go back over the rows and I think at this stage now um, you should be able to get the pattern. Um, but please, um, all I would say is count, count, count. Um, It'll make a huge difference. You don't want to be repeating or ripping out um, your work when you have missed one or two stitches.